Hey there Internet, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game. Bringing you my game night in review on Zaya Legends of a Drift System. So for you, those of you who don't know what Zaya is, it is this 4X game where you're exploiting, expanding the space or the, well, a star system. And so you're having tiles come out that are space and you've got your ships and the ships are really quite nice in this. They're pre-painted miniatures. You start off with like level one ships and then as you get money, you can upgrade to level two and to level three, etc. And it's actually all about winning points. And you set at the beginning of the game a point level and we set five, which is like the, this will be a short game. And we are still playing for two and a half hours. So that shows this can go on for quite a long time. True, there were four of us playing and three of us had never played it before. So that may have influenced things a bit. Um, I actually did really enjoy this, but I'm unlikely to get it. Partly for the price point and the fact that I've already got several long games that I struggle to get to the table that have high price points. So adding another one just does not make sense for me. Um, partly because at its core, and it doesn't really feel like it when you're playing and there is a lot else going on, but at its core, Zaya is a roll and move game. Let me explain. So you equip your ship in a almost galaxy trucker-esque way in that your ship has spaces that you can either put cargo in or put engines, weapons, etc. And at the beginning of the game, you've got a little bit of money to outfit your vehicle. And you can choose three tiers of these different items as long as you can fit them in your ship. And I went for the biggest, most powerful engine and the different tier represents rolling a different size dice. So you've got D6, D8, and then D12. Now, I was the only person who started the game with the biggest engine, and I was rolling a D12, and I kept moving less than everyone else. So everyone else is whizzing around the board where I'm there going, I rolled a one again, I rolled a one again, oh, a two. And it was very much like that. I think twice in the whole game, I rolled higher than a six. Twice. Out of maybe 20 rolls. Really bad luck. And it's the way this kind of game will go. But it didn't stop me enjoying the experience. But um, it's the real downside to this is that long playtime. However, if you want to just exploring the galaxy open way to win game, this really does do that because you can get points in so many different ways. You can get points by fighting, you can get points by trading, you can get points by completing missions, you can get points by just traveling the galaxy, finding new places and picking up tokens that are for exploring. So there really is all the different ways to win and they all seem reasonably equally viable, although killing probably seemed a bit harder, but I think if you got a big enough, hard enough ship, it would be easier to do. So, yeah, can two play this game? Well, the box says three to eight, but because you have these NPC ships that are also involved, that have a preset pattern of how they're gonna work and stuff, you could quite easily play this as a two player game. The only issue would then become that space would step, the size of the board, the size of the number of tiles you can put out would remain unchanged. So it would be quite easy to end up just in different sides of this solar system, never really interacting. So that is a risk. Um, the people who own the game say they play it two-player all the time and really enjoy it, though. Um, so, yeah, if you want a... Oh, oh, almost forgot the best, 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 best. Well, let's actually, no, before I talk about the best thing about Zaya, let's talk about the second best. 
all the different goods are really nice um, kind of translucent cubes that are really nice high quality. The whole game had huge high production quality. And then the best thing, these triangular metal coins, they were stunning. Nice heavy weight to them, absolutely superb. Um, it really does make me tempted to buy this just to have those coins. But uh, yeah, so that is Zaya. Obviously, I really enjoyed it, um, but I won't be getting it. But you might enjoy it too, so it might be one you want to check out. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have, please do watch the rest of the videos on the channel, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends and family, as well as checking us out on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.